put your name in Psalm 20 and see how your wishes will be granted. Everything that you ever desire in your life will come to you. If you put your name in this Psalm, this is very important, very important. Your name should be in Psalm 20. Your children's name, whatever they want, will come to them. There is power in the words of the Lord. There is a miracle in the words of the Lord. Psalms especially, they are very powerful. Psalms are laid down prayers by God for blessing. We are supposed to use Psalms to bless ourselves, to receive our miracle. So never you play with the words of the Lord because this is powerful. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are seeing my face for the first time, may God bless you. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure you turn on the bell notification beside the subscribe button to always get updates. I go on live every day, 12, 10 Nigeria time and make regular upload. I share with you powerful spiritual tips and prayer that will help you greatly and draw you closer to God. So please and please give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. This is going to help them. If there is anything you want, set your life. Whatever you want, whatever you have been praying for, whatever you truly desire, Maybe you want growth in your business. Maybe you are praying to God to give you capital, a good capital to start your business. Maybe you are praying for a good job. Maybe you already have that good business, but no patronage, no growth, no sales. There is no need for business when people are not buying. People are not patronizing you. That business is useless. So you are praying for patronage. You are praying for loss of customers, loss of buyers to come. Or maybe you are praying for a life partner. You want money. But remember, if you want money, you have to work. You can't just fold your hands at home and you need money. Except you want to steal. For God to bless you financially, you must be doing something. If you want God to prosper your work, if you want God to grant your request, if you want God to answer your heart's desire, if you want God to wipe away your tears, that long issue that you have been praying for, you want God to answer you. Pray very well with Psalm 20. And put your name in this psalm. So get a sheet of paper like this. Any kind of paper we do. And write your name. Your real name. Your birth name. The names that your parents gave you. Not the name you gave yourself. If you are married as a woman, you can use your husband's surname. But if you are divorced, use your father's name. Use your real name, not your guy's name or your stage name or any other name, okay? Because this is the name you are known with. So write that name here. And you open to Psalm 20. You read Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. You have to personalize it. The Lord will hear me. In my day of trouble, the name of the God of Jacob defend me. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. O Lord, send me help. In my situation, send me help and strengthen me. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bond sacrifice. Grant thee according to thy own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation. 
And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. The Lord fulfill all my petition. What is petition? Petition is a request. Petition is that thing that you need from God. Petition is your heart desire. The Lord will fulfill all your petition. Not some of your petition. All your petition. So when you are done reading, you pray with it. Oh Lord, send me help. Fulfill my petition. Save me from this trouble. Defend me, oh Lord. You pray with your own words. So when you are done, you drop this name on this psalm. Let it touch it. And continue to pray. As my name touches this psalm, I receive double miracle. In the name of Jesus. As my name touches this psalm, I receive double blessing. In the name of Jesus. As my name, Henrietta Dennis, touches this psalm, I will make it big. In the name of Jesus. As my name touches this psalm, all doors will open for my blessing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As my name touches this psalm, I will assess unlimited financial sources. Everything I desire will come to me. Now begin to speak out what you desire. As my name touches the sun, I will receive my miracle partner. God will send forth that God-fearing man or woman that will get married to me. God will make my business flourish as my name touches the sun. Everything that pertains to me will prosper. Everything that I do, I shall make it. As my name is on this sun, no evil shall come to me. I am under the protection of the Most High God. I am under the protection of the Almighty God. As my name is on these powerful promises of the Lord, I receive speedy answers to my prayers. I receive speedy answers to my prayers in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, give me a good job. As my name is on this psalm, I will receive a call of employment. You know what you want. Begin to speak it out as your name touches this psalm. As my name touches these promises of the Lord, I am hid from every sickness. I am hid from every affliction. Every sickness is uprooted in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of death is diverted in the name of Jesus. Everything will work for me. In the name of Jesus, no more rejection in my life. As my name touches the sun, my helpers will locate me. Only good things will come to me. I will always receive favor. My face will command favor. My life will command favor. In the name of Jesus, amen. So when you are done, you cover it up like this. That is it. Leave it there. Even if you are not going to read the psalm again, just make sure your name is there because you cannot continue to read only one Bible passage. You have to read other parts of the Bible. But the first day you are starting, make sure you read this psalm 20 and pray with it. Then you put your name. Just leave it. Even if you don't get to read this again, no problem. Just leave it there. If you want to read any other part of the Bible, you open it. You read. Make sure the paper is there. Even if it falls off as you are reading other scripture, put it back. Once in a while, if you want to read this psalm again, it's fine because I read this psalm regularly. This is a psalm of assurance. The Lord will grant all your petition. If you want to receive speedy answer, you want God to answer your prayers speedily. This is the kind of Bible passage you should be praying with. Do this and your life will change. You can also write your children's name, your husband's name. Write it on the same sheet of paper or any other name you want to write. You can also get a bigger sheet of paper. Write all the names and drop it. But when you are praying, you will not just say as my name, as our name touches the sun. At times you call the names of the people you have written, including your name. As my name is Marietta Dennis, 
as my daughter's name you call her name and begin to pray that God will grant you all your desire. This always work. You will come for testimony. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Turn on the bell beside the subscribe button to always get notification. Please and please give this video a thumbs up. Share this with your friends.